Hi, my name is John Cordy. I've come into this video suitably unprepared. Uh, we're going in raw, without a bag, and still looking for someone to give that to. I know I made a promise that once we got to 20,000 subscribers, someone would get that whisper. So, you know, it could be you. If you, if you want a whisper from a multi-pack, just leave a comment below. And uh, it's good till the 25th of October, so you've got time. Right. For some of you on the channel, I know that partly gear is part of the reason that you might come to watch this and the Sire guitars was something that I was very interested in because I play the Sire bass and I've used that on function gigs before when I have to play the dirty job of playing a five string instead of six and we probably, most of us saw the videos when they first got announced with Andertons um, saying they were sort of blown away as you'd typically expect from a retailer I guess um, but here on the channel I guess we're about something slightly different to that and probably just following what I'm actually interested in gear wise and trying to give you an honest take on what I actually think of the instrument um, and by now I probably had this a little while and hopefully you've seen it a few times on the channel and you get the sense that I actually enjoy it as an instrument I did buy this with my very own money um, specifically because I was interested to see what it was like and bring it to the channel and all that stuff but you see it's got this beautiful satin neck on the back a nice kind of neck join which is basically to me looks like a sir I think if you want a touchstone for what this guitar is like you probably go for something by sir that seems to be what they kind of modeled it on maybe sort of an American Fender strap you know with the locking uh, tuners and that sort of stuff today I did something outrageous uh, but I'm not going to talk about it although I will talk about this which was I've seen people commenting about a strange volume taper what was happening is that the, the volume knob was very much on or off did was I messaged Tony, friend of the channel and internet person you can trust apparently, and said what's going on with this guitar and he suggested there might be a treble bleed in it. So I opened it up and sent him a picture of the volume knob and he said yeah those two little things there, take those out and you no longer have a treble bleed. And if you've not had a guitar with a treble bleed before, basically what it does is it preserves the top end of your signal when you roll off the volume knob. So some people like this sort of thing. Personally I was finding it a bit unusual and not like any of my other instruments and so I do tend to use the volume knob for various things. So now that I've taken that out basically the guitar for me is perfect and £500 I wasn't necessarily expecting a guitar that plays like this and that sounds like this to me it's super competitive with like an Ibanez AZ or even like a Sir, I've played Sirs, some of them are great, they're all consistent. This to me feels definitely in that ballpark, which is sort of crazy, but lovely rolled fretboard edges. And I've got really no complaints about the guitar. Now that I've taken out that treble bleed, it kind of... That's kind of my thoughts on side guitars. I think they're really, really kind of amazing value. Great guitars. I think the only thing that I would change is take out that treble bleed if you want it to behave more like the strats that you've played before. Unless you're a treble bleed kind of person. I personally have found that I'm not 
so it's easy to take them out. Basically just snip off the, the capacitor and resistor with a pair of pliers or whatever. But you know, message a friend who's into electronics if you're not aware of what you need to be doing with this. I think the Les Paul, so I really like the playability of that guitar as well. It's more like a Les Paul than a Strat, so for me I'm more of a Strat guy. But I'm feeling like that one's probably got treble bleeds as well. And so I'm going to probably open that up in a second and do the same thing. But just wanted to kind of share a bit more of my journey with the guitar. I think it's easy to see a review or a demo online of a guitar or an instrument just one time. You never really know, did that person actually get on with that guitar? Did they keep that guitar? Were they paid for the review? All of that sort of stuff. So I paid for this guitar with my very own hard earned money and I've kept it and I really, really do appreciate it as an instrument. And people message me asking me about the Psy guitar, what do I think of it? And so that's my honest opinion. I think it's amazing value. I've heard from one person who got one who didn't like it. I think they found that it had some kind of fret sprout and stuff but I think they sent it back for a return and got another instrument and I'm fairly certain that they're happy with that one. Um, leave a comment below if that was you. Um, but I'd also like to hear your experience with it. I think that's kind of the thing. Maybe this was a one-off amazing instrument. Maybe they're not all like that. But if you've got one and you've had good experiences, leave a comment below. If you've got one and you've had a bad experience, comments below as well. The, the volume knob taper thing was something that I've heard quite a few people saying about so that treble bleed I think is what is causing that as an issue but treble bleeds are a thing in some guitars for me I prefer guitars without so yeah thank you for stopping by that's kind of my thoughts on the Sire guitars really amazing value really good guitars well built and kind of nice specs bright pickups which for me is what you need in a strap potentially if you're coming from a super strap world maybe they might be a bit bright for you but there's no reason that you couldn't swap them out for something more suitable for you but yeah, that's, that's that. If you wanted to like and subscribe, you could. If you want to hear about more of my journeys with other pieces of gear, that's what I'm trying to do on the channel. Just follow actual things that I'm interested in, whether it's modeling or guitars or amps, um, but just things that I'm really interested in that I can spend my money on and talk about them in an honest way that kind of makes sense or whatever. Uh, you can grab the presets that I used in this video in the description if you want for the Helix and the backing tracks and that will go up on Patreon. Thank you for stopping by, I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers!